we shall start this chapter of linear inequalities by looking at the inequality signs and some basic properties. Now, let's start with looking at this number line here. A value on the left of the number line is always less than a value on its right. Given these two values, which is smaller and which is greater? Since negative 3 is on the left, hence negative 3 is less than 2. And the inequality sign is given by this. Now how do I remember which inequality sign to use? You can simply remember by using this picture here. Person A is smaller than person B. Because this space here on the left is less than the space here on the right. And hence we have, yes, A is less than B. Now, what about this inequality sign? The space here is greater than the space here, and hence we read P is greater than Q. Now, we also need to learn how to start reading it from Q. So Q is, yes, Q is less than P, because the space here for Q is smaller than the space here for P. In another words, we need to learn how to read inequality sign from the left to right and vice versa from the right to the left. Now let's look at the different types of inequality sign here. By now, do you know how to read this? Yes, A is less than B. Now, what about this? You are right, C is greater than D. It is also okay to say that C is more than D. I'm sure you're familiar with this. E is equal to F. What about this? Yes, it is a combination of two signs here. Hence, G is less than or equals to H. Do you see the less than sign here and the equal sign here? Therefore, this inequality is both less than or equal. Finally, what about this? Yes, I is greater than or equals to J. Now, why don't we try to read it from the right to the left? In the first case, we have B is, yes, greater than A. In the second column, we have D is Yes, less than C. You can also write this as F equals to E. For this, we have H is Yes, greater or equals to G. And the final one will be J is Yes, less than or equals to I. And hence, these four are the different types of inequalities. Now, let's look at some basic properties of inequalities. If A is less than B, and B is less than C, notice that these two values are equal. So, which is smaller, A or C? Having problem figuring out, let's look at some numerical examples. We have 2 is less than 5, and 5 is less than 8. So, which is smaller, 2 or 8? Yes, 2 is less than 8. Therefore, A will be less than C. Because B is less than C, and since A is a value less than B, therefore, A must also be less than C. But that's all for the first part of linear inequalities. It is actually quite simple, isn't it?